We're having fun with you, babe. We're making it all about you. That was our plan. So Mary would be praying, oh Lord God in heaven, That's what we would hear. So, working on my tone, but being myself, my fun, bubbly self is what I've, I've wanted. That's what my wife has wanted. We have heard your prayers. <laughs> A lot of times, my wife will be praying and the Holy Spirit will say, well, she prays a lot, but I'm not thrilled with her. <laughs> and me being her husband, you guys are like, that's funny to you, Lord. No, because um, I have always said the strongest is the most submitted to God. That's our definition of strength, beloveds. And my wife prayed some lofty prayers about rebuking her ego. <laughs> And she could not understand why she um, saw things the way she saw them. And then you could not change her mind. <laughs> it takes lightning bolts going off inside her mind to change her mind. <laughs> and it all goes back to... Um, her existence. She never tasted death. Same with Peter. So she has looked at, I've watched my wife go through different thought processes of who she wants to be. Everybody except for her. So what I love to do is have a few drinks with my wife and then take it back 2,000 years ago. Like, babe, remember this? This is why this happened in your lifetime this time. To put it uh, in simple terms, my wife loves that. There are certain things that only me and my wife can share. And we just don't want it adulterated and organized into something that doesn't express how we truly feel about each other. It doesn't allow us to really live and thrive. Because the goal of any um, religious organization should be the favor of its God. And then religion I hear it preached all the time. Everybody knows that Jesus hated religion. We don't need to go there. I'm not contrived. The Holy Spirit didn't even reveal to me why my tone changed. You know, the equivalent of Simba roared and Mufasa's voice came out. <clears throat> and to those that I haven't been able to uh, interact with face to face, if I'm pleased with you, I have my pleasant tone. If you chose to be a part of my kingdom and you said that you were going to live your life for me and follow me all the rest of your days, then we talked yesterday. We're talking right now. So understanding the full impact of my voice and how my words are a spirit and in them there is life and how that materializes into something in your life through an event testifies even more to who I am. And believing in the goodness of God. First of all, it's not a common thought process that a common man, which you are not, thank you, is standing in an empty apartment and delighting in the Lord. 
I delight in the spiritual atmosphere. I delight that I'm in New Jerusalem. I delight that I'm breathing in the Holy Spirit all the time. I delight in my wife and the fact that we're communicating. I delight in my prophets, my bride, all these things that give God glory. And I delight in learning with the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit, it used to be I could make a video and it would be like um, my thoughts would be interrupted and I'd be saying things. Now it's just pouring out. <clears throat> And then to have that happen through someone else that has the Holy Spirit. For a long time, I would not have any friends with anybody that did not have the Holy Spirit. Because it grieved me. So to reach this level and attain what true holiness actually is. Knowing because God is so involved in your life that it happens all the time and being in God's timing all the time. And it gets to a point where I would speak, I would see the news and okay. And then working with my prophets, I'll um, check on one of my prophets and they'll have a word confirming everything that I'm saying right now or said yesterday or will say tomorrow. Removing time from the entire equation because you're in your own world with your spouse and how amazing the kingdom marriages are to us and not squandering those moments on feeling things and doing things that in the end are not going to matter in your development or your standing before God. Focusing on the important things, beloveds. And the Holy Spirit guides my every step and my every word and that's how I give glory to God. I never say anything without giving credit to the Holy Spirit. I never do anything without giving credit to the Holy Spirit. It does not matter to me if I, I don't have a way of not pleasing God. So understanding that, and if I can give that to you, when you're sealed by the Holy Spirit and you're incorruptible as the scripture said you would be when you're taken into the air. The freedom that God wants you to have compared to you can do this and 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 this will keep you from What does it keep you from? There is one Holy Spirit, beloved. So what do you have to gain is the human thought process. Whereas I always tell you, give it up. Many... <clears throat> are gasping for breath right now just to be able to hear God 
just to see God do anything in their life. It happens for me every single moment. This was a decision I made long ago. Here am I, Lord, it's in me. So that's something that the Holy Spirit always uh, uses me to help other people with when they get discouraged. There are people genuinely trying with all of their heart. And I'm removing those burdens from you because I know what's impacting you spiritually. I know what's impacting you emotionally. I know people that will enhance your life. That's what I want for you. That are going to not agree with you all the time, but they are going to help you because they love God. And if you're in a leadership position, they're going to stand in awe once they fully understand, but not many fully understand right now. But my prophets do. Because I speak to them and they know my voice. And it's really that simple. So loving you for who you are, because I created you, is our goal. The legacy and the impact that we have on the world, that is a byproduct of a life well lived. Because for me, I'm God. So I don't fear the things that other people fear. I don't fear offending God. Why would I? I took all the steps to understand how you feel so that I could understand why. Um, I was treated with such disrespect in people's lives, but you never really knew how serious we take our word or our children or approaching us. And that's one thing that the lukewarm church has forgotten. You have forgotten who you are speaking to and how much restraint and love we actually have showed in your life, especially the Western church. And then me wanting to be a real man and a real, a real man. Well, I tried that. Uh, I'm no longer a real man. <laughs> I'm God. And one of my prophets confirmed it uh, face to face. Yesterday, um, I was led to one of my prophets and said, you have found you, your unique self. Many people, they would think my prophets are um, kind of out there sometimes. But if you have the Holy Spirit, they always use the name Jesus. They always use the scripture. And I think they're amazing. I'm actually excited about going to church every morning with them and walking them through all of this as one body. The bride is me <clears throat> inside them and in the scripture says the bride will come down from heaven adorned new jerusalem the city 
and I am here. <clears throat> and it is. I have not gone without. It is <laughs> catered to <laughs> the positions that uh, me and the Holy Spirit knew that we would be left in a lot of times. So when I left um, Sheol the first time, that was a training ground. And it was uh, the desert and it had all kinds of things that I dealt with 2,000 years ago. So removing time and not wanting to repeat a lifetime without my wife has been my mission. And then being this close, me and my wife received a prophetic word yesterday. It's like a merry-go-round, but this time it's gonna work. Send that one to her, send that one to her. All right, I love you.